I have such a low pain threshold. I'm gonna win this. I wanted to make sure you didn't fight. Bryce still hit my head like loads of times. Holy stuff! Oh, he missed. Woo! Today I'm talking to Mark Andrews, a pro wrestler who was part of the WWE, now part of Attack Pro Wrestling. He's known for some high flying antics, doing amazing, incredible stunts, putting his life on the line every single night. He's also in a band called Junior, who have played loads of different festivals, been on incredible tours, but today he's going to teach me how to be a wrestler. It's going to be painful. It was painful. It was so painful. This is Dave's Day Out with Mark Andrews. Mark Andrews, how you doing, baby? I'm good, man. How are you? I am so good. Thank you so much for being part of Dave's Day Out. That's all right, brother. I am scared about what you have in store for me, but I'm, I'm also worried that my insurance doesn't cover parking in Newport. That's... Yeah, that's like the first level of danger, getting into yeah. wrestling. It's coming to Newport, <laughs> and then you've made it here safely, so the worst part's over. The worst part's over. <laughs> now I've just got the fear of, you know... Of leaving Newport. Yeah, to... going to go back through. <laughs> I was going to say damage in the ring, but yeah, I yeah, forgot about having like... to go back out. <laughs> we were in the car park, and we were getting all the stuff out, and I was just like, I can't let anyone hear my accent. <laughs> nah, you'll be all right. You'll be all right. Now, you're a musician and a wrestler. Yes. Is there a musician out there that you would love to wrestle? There's two sides to this, right? There's musicians who you would assume would make amazing wrestlers because of like how they look, right? All of Kiss, you know? Okay, yeah. You know, they could come out as like Undertaker's entourage. However, I don't think I'd actually want to wrestle Gene Simmons because he's like 75 years old and yeah. he has a massive tongue. <laughs> it's the, the tongue is the most worrying part. Yeah, that yeah. thing is girthy. Yeah, yeah. I don't think I would, yeah, I'd want to be anywhere near that. <laughs> He'd lick you all night long. Yeah. Oh, God, yeah. But yeah, I don't know. In, in terms of actual people who I think like I'd like to get involved in wrestling. So uh, Soupy, the lead singer of The Wonder Years, he's a massive wrestling fan. Okay. And I, when I last saw him, he told me that he actually had his uh, his stag do, or what did they call it out there? Uh, his bachelor's party. Ba bachelor party. Ba bachelor party. His stag do, though, yeah. <laughs> uh, he went to a wrestling school in Philly and like learned as a wrestler, but he said afterwards he was like, dead for a week but but he said he came off the top rope and everything and he's in pretty decent shape i know he does like a bit of crossfit i think and stuff like that so uh i i could have a good match with soupy is what i'm trying to say you know <laughs> that does worry me that a person that does crossfit and all that sort of stuff still end ended up like in bed for a week after yeah well I, he said he was pretty sore but i think he must have you know he came off the top rope you know at first first time <laughs> okay. you're, you're, you're gonna be sore after your first training okay. session on the way here like my knee fell asleep and I was just like, that's, <laughs> that's bad circulation. I'm off to a bad start already. Maybe this will help it. Maybe yeah. you'll leave feeling better than ever. <laughs> Probably not, that's I'm unlikely. Saying, yeah. Would that be the first ever person to do yeah. so? Yeah, <laughs> like, whoa, all I needed was wrestling. That's what it was. <laughs> Is that gonna be able to hold my weight? I'm sure you'll be fine. <laughs> that's not what I asked. Do I go Undertaker it? Is that gonna get me right in there? Yeah, I mean, give it a go, you know. Oh, I think you can. Sort of just slashing it up now. Bit more. <laughs> Go for the taker. There it is. Oh. Nice. Oh. <laughs> the Don Giroux. How else are you getting? You're like, natural. Here. Oh, there you go. Oh, you no. are natural. Ah. Look. Look at that. <laughs> and he comes in. And then he comes in. in. Oh, oh my God. This is yes. Oh, I'll get too excited. I don't normally swear this much. <laughs> but I'm thinking like sort of pop stars. I think they need to be taken down a peg. I think all the rock stars, right? I mean, they've already gone through it. You know, but like a pop star, like. Yeah. I mean, you know Beyonce would just be good at it. She'd be, a, oh my I God. I feel like anything she'd try, she'd just smash it, you know? Yeah, you'd see how, how she dances. Just, like, yeah, just the walk on alone. You'd be yeah. like, all right, main event material, here her main we go. Thing, her main thing <laughs> is the headbutt. She does that and then just smashes yeah. you in the head like that. <laughs> The bump is incredibly important. Uh, when you back bump in, because I mean, obviously wrestlers land on their back a lot, it's all about spreading your body weight as much as possible instead of landing in a kind of concentrated space. Fingers close together, arms nice and wide. I'm gonna just start by like rolling backwards into it. That, that's where you wanna go to. Okay. So it's, 
spreading your weight across your shoulders, tailbone just off the ground. But most importantly, keep your head tucked because you don't want to do this. And the harder you hit the mat, yeah. the, kind of, the less hard it hits you, I guess. Oh. So let's try it once more. <laughs> head tucked. Yeah, Make head sure tucked. instead of coming down this way with your back of your hands, it's the oh, palms, palms hitting the floor and as straight as you can. That's straight as you can. Okay. Hit the mat, but to keep your head tucked. <laughs> okay. There's and, a lot to remember. And, and this motion. Does everyone stop? That's it. Yeah, okay. there you go. Yeah, that was perfect. Just okay. that on your back. Right, okay. Yeah, how was that? I'm a little bit windy. Yeah. <laughs> I've winded myself quite a lot. I was okay. Oh. I thought I was good. Only thing I'd say is take your head a bit more. One more? One more? Uh, yeah. How tall do you have to be to get away with a hurricane runner? Because it looks like everyone's going to hit their head on the floor every time it yeah, happens. I, I mean, it's easier being shorter, I think. You know, I'm, I'm five foot seven, five foot eight. I so it's, it's a reason why I do that move, because it's a lot easier for me to do it without hitting my head. However, I've still hit my head tw like loads <laughs> of times doing a hurricane runner. Because also, it depends on who you're doing it on, right? So if I'm doing a hurricane runner on someone tall, mm. easy. But if it's someone closer to my height, the chances are higher of me whacking my head yeah. on uh, on the floor. So yeah, I would suggest maybe taller people don't <laughs> don't go for hurricane runners. <laughs> I mean, out of the wrestling world, is, do you know at any point whether someone's used a hurricane runner to get out of a situation or win a situation? I mean, if someone was to perform that and I was out and about at a Weatherspoons and someone just dropped a hurricane runner on someone, I would definitely go, that's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> that person is not to be messed with. I'm pretty sure I saw it once and it like, I was like, whoa, what the hell? I mean, this is uh, Newport. In, <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 no, no, not in a street fight, in like um, an amateur wrestling contest. Okay. Or like in a UFC fight, or something like that. And oh. I remember thinking like, how the hell they pulled that off? That's amazing. Um, and it looked badass, exactly like you just said. You know, if you saw someone busting out in Weatherspoons, you'd be like, what the fuck <laughs> is going on? Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I mean, I'd be very impressed if I saw someone do that. Yeah, it depends yeah. on how many beers your opponent has had at this point, you know what I mean? <laughs> they might just flow with it. They might just be like, whoa, <laughs> follow the legs, you know? <laughs> they're just gonna crotch to the face and now they're just like, I'm whatever's happening yeah. now. Yeah, follow the crotch. Follow the crotch. <laughs> exactly, just, yeah. yeah. In wrestling, obviously, you know, one thing is landing, being thrown, but we hit each other quite a lot. One of the safest strikes you can do, you can do in wrestling is a chop like to the chest, or like an overhand chop. Okay. How'd you feel about trying to take one of those? Yeah, okay. Yeah? Like, yeah, yeah, that'd be fine, yeah. It does sting. It's yeah. mind over matter sort of yeah. thing. It's like a slap. So, awesome, yeah. yeah. Shall we go for it? Let's. Take your shirt off and let's go for a chop then. I haven't taken my shirt off in over 30 years. Like this, there, there is new skin underneath here. Like <laughs> new skin. New, like, we're talking about a, tod a like a toddler's skin. Like this is this has never seen the light of day. I, I'm sure your skin will be fine with a chop. I haven't even thought about the pain. I haven't even thought about the pain. I was just worried about showing it off. Now I'm worried about the pain. That's two things. There you go. Now you haven't got to worry about showing it off. Just worry about the pain. When it comes to being hit or you accidentally hit someone, it's called a receipt, isn't it? When you hit someone and then you then the person gets angry or annoyed. Yeah. And has to like sort of give them one back as a receipt. Yeah, I mean it's it's more of an old school thing. I like to think that the wrestling industry. I like to think, at least in my circles, you know, people have matured since then to realise that you probably shouldn't hit someone hard in the first place. However, you know what I mean. Wrestling's a very physical thing, and you're trusting your opponent with your life, really. Mm -hmm. So if they were to take advantage of it, sometimes a receipt is used to almost slow the other person down. And by, by that, I mean, c calm them down, you right, know? Right, right, right. Especially in, um, if you're in there with someone who's like new to the business and they're just excitable and they don't mean to be hitting you as hard. They don't realize how hard they're hitting you and it can almost be like a, settle down, man, you know what I mean? And then it's like, okay, we'll just take a breather. But like, I am a wrestler who rarely has to, or I'm not even sure if I would for mm. a receipt. And as well, let's just throw it out there, like, Chops are a lot safer than, let's say, four rounds to the head. You know what I mean? Like, okay. So, like, there's areas where you'd do it. You wouldn't do a receipt on, a like, chop. a power bomb to the floor. You know what I mean? But, like, you know, maybe you'd slap them <laughs> a, bit, a bit harder in their chest, you know? So, <laughs> at least me, personally, I wouldn't want to, you know, in a safe environment, you know, you wouldn't want to be injuring someone because you got heated in the moment. Yeah. I was going to say, I have such a low pain threshold that the chop to the chest, I think, would be, oh, my God. There it is. There it is.
Don't look directly at it, you'll get snow blind. Brother, you look great. I think mean, you look like a wrestler, my friend. Which one? Vader. Full permission to do Full this. permission. Full permission. Full permission. Okay, yeah. Okay, okay so okay. I'm going to do an overhand okay. chop right yeah. there. So that's what, that's what it'll be. Ready? Ready? Okay. I wanted, <laughs> I wanted to make sure you didn't flinch. I wanted to make sure you didn't flinch. <laughs> I, you were going to flinch. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Oh god, they're doing nothing, it happened! You're going for it? Okay. You got it, yep. easy, you got yep. it. Yep. Oh! Jeez! Oh, that oh. came so fast. Oh. That came up really oh. fast. Oh. Hang, hang on, hang on, wait, 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 wait. You can breathe through it, breathe through it, it's okay. It's, why is it so hot? It's really red. It's so warm! I didn't think oh. it would go that way. My god! If someone had a cup of ramen, I would be able to cook it just by putting it near Dave, my chest. That's really right now. red, Dave. I'm a bit. <laughs> oh, that's holy really shit. red. Oh, I try not to swear. Guys, red. <laughs> oh my god. I don't think I'd ever chop someone and let it be that red that oh, fast. Thank you for saving it for me. Oh, oh my god. I'm sorry, but um, no, you took it like a champ, though. That was great. Is that how champs oh, take it? I thought that was awesome. You did oh, great. God. You passed the toughness test, I'd say. Yeah. Well, this portion of it, at oh, least. Oh, God. <laughs> I have never seen that before. <laughs> Normally, it takes like a few minutes. That was like, as my hand came off, it was like paint. Does it look, does it look like I've been chosen for like the Lord of the Rings? Honestly, Boom. Yeah. He's, he's... <laughs> Holy yeah, God! It that, real, that's that's bad. That was like, as I took it away, I, it just went like this. <laughs> oh, when you get into like WWE and everyone's just like, oh my God, this overnight sensation, when it's not been an overnight sensation, yeah. it's been how many grueling years before you got to that? Well, I started wrestling when I was 12, the week before my 13th birthday, and I went to WWE when I was, what, 24, I want to say? Um, so yeah, I think like obviously the people close to you see the years of years of hard work, but obviously to the rest of the world it's like, wait, they're a more famous pro wrestler now. Do you know what yeah. I mean? But yeah, it's crazy how much it does open up like this entire world, like like especially in wrestling. I'm not sure if it's the same in comedy, but it's like there are fans. There are wrestling fans who aren't actually wrestling fans. They're like they're, they're WWE fans, you know, and they don't even know any wrestling outside of WWE yeah. exists. And then you have a lot more diehards who are aware of your journey and people's journey all the way there. So it's crazy. Like you know, when I, when I first wrestled for WWE, it was like, oh, instantly your Twitter followers doubled in the space of a night, and instantly it's like a million people have watched that match. That's more than all of my other matches in the history of my career have been seen by people, you know? So um, yeah, it's a bit of a crazy experience, but it's one that I guess I'm glad in a way that I, I wasn't just some like overnight success, because you kind of prepare for it. You kind of get ready for it. Yeah, I mean, in comedy, I like the, well, the one that comes to mind would be Matt Rife. Everyone would go like, he's an overnight sensation because his TikTok went from, from doing shows in 300 seater venues to filling out, now he's doing arenas and stadiums Amazing. and he came over like, everyone said it's an overnight success. Success, It wasn't, it was just a TikTok thing and he just went massive. His crowd work is some of the best. Material, eh, you know, but his crowd work is the best. I don't care, come, for, come at me. But again, he had been doing like years and years and stuff beforehand. So he was sort of ready for like the big time. Because I guess that's what you work towards, right? You mm. work to have the moment. My dad would always say uh, like this quote, which was like, it takes 10 years of hard work to become an overnight success. Mm. Yeah. Because you know, that's what it is, right? Because like, it's so, it's very rare to just be, I almost think the overnight successes are more like the people who go on Britain's Got Talent, you know? Mm. And, Cause then it's like, oh, that actually did happen from like, potentially you worked in the pub and then you had an amazing voice and now you're, you know, whereas in things like wrestling and comedy, it's very rare to be like, hey you, random guy off the street, wanna be a really famous wrestler or comedian? Like that doesn't, that doesn't happen, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? It's, it's, hey you, who's worked hard for 10 years and kind of ready for this, I'll give you a big shot, you know? Yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah, when people like win the lottery, I, I can only think that that's just like a double-edged sword. Yeah. It's like all your problems are sorted, but you know, now you're just like, I didn't earn this. Like all that money you never really earned. You don't know what to do. Like, yeah. you know, like there's some guy that's won it twice. And yeah, right. And he would be like, what? <laughs> I have pretty strong feelings on this, right? So I, I love buying a lorry ticket. I absolutely love it. Go on the shop for some bread or some milk, whack a lorry ticket in there. You know, I love it. And recently I've stopped buying them because I've actually started thinking like, 
would it actually negatively impact my life? Like, I'm really happy in my life. And don't get me wrong, I'd love to pay off my house. But, like, at the same time, I'm like, oh, would I want to be, like, just, like, millions landing in my account? Like, right. I almost... Some- I buy it for the fun of gambling, but I think if I won it, I'd want to like give it all away. You yeah. Know? But then I also probably wouldn't. <laughs> yeah. I'd be like, I can't give it all away, <laughs> you know. So it's like when you walk past the famous person, you go, "Oh, I'm going to give him some money." You didn't find anything, but you're like, "Ah, oh, oh, what a good guy I am." For yeah. Thinking that I was for going searching to do that. my pockets. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think you got a lot of charisma. You know, oh. You're used to being in front of a camera, obviously. Give me a promo. What would you say to okay. your opponent before a match? For my opponent, like. Whoa, you, I tell you, you are something else. You're gonna, oh, God, I've got, got flashbacks to that. Stay in character, stay okay, in character. Right, okay, you know. okay, let me, all right, I've got to properly. You, you, listen, you, it feels better to do it in American. Is that better? Is I that, mean, is, you know, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. This dog is coming home to me right now. Is this any good? I don't. This is awful. Hang on. This is hang on. Really hang on. bad. Now, last time I gave an ass whooping, they said something about John 316. Smiling Dave 316 just said I whooped your ass. I'm terrible. I can't look up properly. I can't roll my, I want to roll my eyes back like Undertaker. Yeah, no, I don't think that's... I can't um, look, like, I genuinely... I don't think that's... That, is this well, it? No, yeah, uh, no, not at all. Is that not? I mean, you did great in the toughness test. Woo! The nature boy smiling, Dave! <laughs> what, what am I doing? It doesn't matter what I'm doing! You actually got me for a second there. <laughs> I'll give C minus for the last one. <laughs> so you passed. There you go. Oh, he missed. But you're also in a band. Yep. So how much self hatred was there to start with? <laughs> Two of the hardest industries. Yeah. To get into. Well, wrestling. do you know what? Easy to get into. Hard to. To master, to, to master, yeah. and I guess be like any level of success with, which I'm still trying to figure out myself. That's not me saying that I've mastered those oh, things. No. Wrestling, maybe to some extent. I played music when I was a kid, and I um, I learned. I started learning guitar when I was about 11 years old, and then I started wrestling again like a year or so after that. And then for I remember when I was younger, I was always very conscious of like, what do I want to be when I'm older? I, I, I was quite, I would say, may, maybe ahead of my friends in like thinking, what do I want to be when I'm older? A lot mm. of my friends would just be like, hey, I don't know, I don't care, let's just go through school and whatever. And I was quite conscious of like, which way do I want to go, wrestling or music? You know, when you're 12, obviously, those are the natural <laughs> options, you know? Like, you know? Uh, and I remember making that decision of like, it's going to be wrestling, I like wrestling more, blah, 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 you know? When, you know, got through high school, carried on wrestling, played guitar, wrote songs, but like, wasn't pursuing it in any big way. Yeah. And then at the end of uni, I suddenly had like this, I guess, extra time where I, you know, uni was over, I was pursuing wrestling as what I, was gonna be more of a career. Um, and I was like, I'm always gonna regret it if I don't play in a band that's at least like done a show or like been on a tour and released a real single in a music video. And then it started there and that was 10 years ago. And like, I'm really glad of the things we have achieved because we've like supported some of my favorite bands, People like the Wonder Years and Citizen and Chunk No Captain Chunk and all these cool pop punk bands. And also we like we played Download, you know? So like that was huge. Um, so even though it hasn't been like some, you know, long lasting career in the way that it isn't for so many, even successful mm. bands, it doesn't become that. I'm just really grateful that like, I was able to tick off a few things off of the, the lifelong it, bucket list, you know? I have such a thing with the road less traveled. I, I need to do stupid things. Like I need to do the hardest thing. I need to do the most of traveled. I don't, know if it, I don't even know it's, if it's for me or if I'm doing it to impress people. I, I will look into that when I can afford therapy, but until that day, <laughs> I'm gonna keep at it and then do all these you know, ridiculous stuff. Well, you want the stuff. stories, right? And you want the memories. And I guess it's like, it's funny because once, sometimes I, I almost, uh, I think like don't do my own, 
my wonderful memories justice. Like, I have so many wonderful memories of being in the band and touring and doing these things that I never thought I'd be able to do, and in wrestling. And I guess because that they, it's more the norm for me these days. Mm. I almost like, oh, like yeah, that's just normal. Of course, we played download or whatever. Like you know, it just happened. But really, when I think back to like when we started that band, I'd be like, holy shit, we fucking did it. You know mm. what I mean? Like actually, like like, and that's then when I feel more like emotional about it. And I'm like, oh, I'm really really proud of myself. You know? Yeah, yeah. Um, and all, I just want to say as well because I used to see it all the time. At the start of every Raw SmackDown, I used to say, "Don't try this at home." When you were growing up, did you try it at home? Yes. Of course you did. <laughs> Everyone does. I don't know why. they. I, I guess like they do it they just because it. they're just like, oh, yeah. we'll put it in there. And here's the thing. Right now, I would also tell people not to try this at home, mm. and especially in this area, because when I was younger, there, there weren't very many training schools, uh, especially like that many credi credible ones. And re training was on like once a month as opposed to like once a week and mm. stuff like that. These days, you know, this gym, New Wave Wrestling, is open five days a week like i would be and it has like kids classes and teens classes and adults classes so like i would be loving life if this was around when i was younger God, yeah. um, but because it wasn't like you know i remember my mum. she worked in high school um and the, one of the best things she ever did was bring you know for me but, 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 but it, was, it, it felt like christmas times a thousand she brought back some old crash mats from her, the school she worked God. in and i was just like boys Everyone come round. We're learning how to moonsault today. And it was amazing. It was like the best start to the summer holidays ever. We were like, we're just going to do backyard wrestling and skateboarding every day. It was incredible. So, um, so yeah. So my mum definitely was supportive in some ways like that, you know. So yeah, I think my parents were inadvertently supportive. Every time they would go out to the pub, we would get the seti cushions out and do stuff. So <laughs> thanks to their alcoholism. You got to wrestle. I yeah. got to wrestle with my brother. Yeah. <laughs> they didn't realize what they were doing. They, deep down they did. Deep though. down. Deep down they said, you know, we need that pint. Yeah, To absolutely. help them. That Bacardi's <laughs> is for him. Yeah. <laughs> for safety reasons, I'm gonna use the crash mat. I took the slap to the chest, but just be on the safe side. Maybe afterwards I'll take a real one, but I just want to see what it's like first. It's just the cushion from back yeah. in the day. Oh God. Okay. You know how to bump. I can know how to, uh, you know how to bump. Oh yeah, I could remember. I wasn't, yeah. I totally forgot to Keep do that. Keep your head tucked. Right, so, how, like. If you want to step on, yeah, if you want to, if you want to take a power bomb, I'd say, I'd say step on middle. I'm a small guy, so I'm not going to roll you up like, you know, okay. a sister or anyone. <laughs> like that? And then I'll just tuck my head in here. Uh-huh. Oh Jesus. Yeah? And let then I'm gonna take your weight. Oh my god. Yeah. Ready? You want me to let go? Yeah. Okay. Oh! I forgot. <laughs> I forgot to do the thing. I forgot to do the thing. Nice on the crash mat though, right? Perfect. I forgot to do the thing. I'm so winded. Uh, uh. <laughs> this is where we lay Dave to rest. <laughs> I think if I, so if I tuck in and just do that, I reckon I can take on the actual thing. I want to, I want to try it. No least. crash mat? There's no other opportunity I'm going to get to do this properly. <laughs> on your head, do it, my friend. <laughs> Literally. You know, I, as long as you feel, as long as you tuck that head, and as long as you, that's what you want. There's, you know, there's been wanna... like miracle like movements in CTE as well, isn't there? <laughs> no? Okay. Head tucked, arms wide. Head tucked, arms wide. Okay. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Tuck right. Ready? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Ready? 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 Mark, what have you got going on with your life that you need to tell people about? Tons of wrestling. Attackprowrestling.com. Those are the shows that I run, not just in Wales, all around the place. We've got one in London coming up as well. Um, so yeah, follow us at Attack Pro Wrestling. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you on the next episode of Dave's Day Out. Hit smileydave.com for tickets to any live shows I've got going on. Thank you so much, Mark. Bring it in, Dave. Thank you. <laughs> Now where am I? <laughs> you signed the waiver, brother. <laughs> Come on, give the spin Rooney one more go. How did he do it? I've got carpet burn. I've got car. I've got sensitive knees, like. <laughs> <laughs>